Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd. My gosh, happy November, y'all. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, I'm here at the office, as you can see, and it's time to start working and planning for Black Friday, which we're super excited about. So uh, Faith is here. She's gonna get some orders out. They came in over the weekend while we were closed, because again, we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, so we're gonna knock out some orders. And then um, just more, for me, more computer work, um, just getting things ordered and, you know, just, adding more things to the store that we're super excited about. So yeah, <laughs> I told y'all in uh, my one of my previous vlogs, um, I actually just made one live today, again, November 3rd. It should be a new vlog live. Um, and in that vlog, I think I told y'all that we were gonna start getting indie patterns in and other notions. Thread is, is one of them and I'm super excited about it. We need to just restock this one. So we'll be putting the order in soon to get this um, restocked and we'll have that out we'll have it online so yeah just trying to get things done prepared and ready for black friday so that we'll be able to really enjoy it with our families and not be focused on work um i also gave you all a house update in the video that i posted today which should be being britney j vlog six so if you want to see an updated photo and see where we are with the house definitely go watch that um video so yeah i'm here i'm actually meal prepping y'all i'm tired of eating out tired of it <laughs> my wallet is tired of it my body is tired of it so I actually came in to work about 9 30 I went across the street to Publix and I went grocery shopping I um, got some chicken breast vegetables all that jazz I bought a sheet pan that I had in my car <laughs> I don't know I bought a sheet pan before we left California thinking that oh when we move into a house we'll need something I don't know why I thought sheet pan though <laughs> but I had a sheet pan, I had a tiny pot. What I cook my eggs in, y'all have seen that. I bought those two things for whatever reason. So I had a sheet pan, I brought that. So I'm just, I literally have food in the oven right now because I am done eating out. Um, like I said, my wallet's tired of it. My body's tired of it. I can tell that I have gained weight. I don't like the way I feel. And for me, it's all about feeling good and looking good in my clothes. So I want to feel good every day <laughs> i don't want to be bloated and you all know i have achalasia so i really don't need to gain weight and mess up my esophagus I'm not trying to deal with those kind of issues so i'm going to start meal prepping um and just being more mindful of cooking and not eating out or at least eat out maybe once a week but not every day not every day Brittany. you can't eat out every day that's what i tell myself <laughs> anyway let's get started with the day friends at the photos that I just shot and I think I have one that I'll prefer let me show you so this is one and I was going between these two I think I like this one Faith said she liked this one I do like this one for the clean background but I think I'm gonna go with this one and post this one on social I took a couple more for the website though I can also upgrade a update those photos that'd be nice for the site okay let me post these on social time to shop these now www.melanated fabrics dot com <clears throat> 
new stretch coated work fabrics are here make gorgeous jackets pants skirts and more with these cords they're perfect for fall slash winter makes and available in three colorways. Time to shop these now. Please tell me that these other corduroys are on the website. Oh my gosh, Faith. What? These corduroys is not even on the website. Huh? What? These, these two greens ain't even on the website. <laughs> so I took the photos so that I could put this on social and talk about the cords, right? So as I'm tagging the products, only the black is showing up. That means these two are not even on the website yet. They're only in the store. So I need to photograph these really quickly, get the video, and put these on the website. So that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> I took the photos so now I can get those put on the website and then I can make my post for social today but I'm also hungry it is oh lord I don't even know what time it is I took my watch off so I can record the photos it's 1 38 I'm hungry I'm gonna go eat then I'll come back and do this so good so good <laughs> I'm on the home stretch friends I'm editing our the clips that I did the videos right now and then I'll be able to get them on the website. So, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. reported somebody page my bad <laughs> the cords are on the website Woo! they are live Woo! <laughs> head on over to melanafibers.com you can shop the cords now um, I'll also put a link here for you to tap and start shopping um, and yeah head on over and give the post a like I did it <laughs> hey friends I'm here with Denisha Hi. I'm gonna put her information down in the description box. You need to follow, oh. just like I said with Miss Anita, thank me later. <laughs> hey friends, so I am downstairs. I'm making some really quick progress on my Marine Corps birthday ball dress. It is 5.08, we're almost done with the working day, but I just have one more step to do. I sold my dress up at my mom's house. I think I sold it up Monday. It took me like two and a half, three hours. It was a really, really quick sew. The only thing I didn't do was the hem. I did serge it, and I'm just gonna fold it in and, and um, stitch it in place. Um, I said I was kind of going between, this is the pattern I made again, if you're just watching this video, if you didn't watch the previous one when I cut out the fabric and everything. I'm making McCall's, or I'm finishing up McCall's 8037. I went with view C on this dress. Kind of bring it in so you all can see. So I went with this one and I was kind of undecided if I wanted to add the split or not. I decided to go ahead and just close it up for a couple reasons. Number one, I really don't want to buy any sparkly, shimmery evening wear shoes because I have like two or three pairs in storage already, but I do have a pair of black heels that I can just put on and the length of the dress is long, so it kind of hides it. So I was just kind of thinking about that. I really didn't want to spend any money for no shoes. Um, so that's one reason why I decided to close up the split. Another reason is because I want to be able to wear all of my shapewear <laughs> down to my ankles. <laughs> so that's the second reason. Third reason is I don't want to be cold. Um, and I also didn't want to be fidgeting with the dress while I'm walking. So when I thought about all those details and all those things that I would prefer for the dress, I went ahead and just closed up the split. I wished I would have kind of decided before I cut the piece out though, because I would have just cut it on the fold and eliminated the whole seam down the middle. But it's no big deal. It has a center seam. If I change my mind later, or if I give this dress to somebody else, they can open it up and they'll have the front split. So I'm not really uh, worried about it. So the last thing again for me to do is to go ahead and hem it, press it, and the dress is done. And I cannot wait to wear it this weekend. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch up the hem um, and press the dress and I'll be done.
The dress is all done. I cannot wait to Saturday. I'll show you all. I would show you a sneak peek, but it doesn't really drape well. It doesn't look that great on the hanger, so you just gotta wait to see it on me. Um, these are the, my ball nails. They are red with glitter in them, giving a lots of Christmas vibes. Um, but yeah, that's it. The dress is done. I have my clutch. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. I think I'm gonna do flexi rods. Um, hubs like my hair natural and out in, in its natural state. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll see how that works. But y'all stay tuned. It's getting close. <laughs> Today has been super productive from grocery shopping to meal prepping to photographing fabrics, getting things on the website, editing pictures, interacting with our visitors, uh, spending time with Denisha. It was so good to see her finishing up the birthday ball, the hem of my dress. Um, I helped Faith out with some content that she was creating. So I am feeling really good. <laughs> Again, it is now 6.01. We're officially closed. I'm about to get in the car and drive home. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. Hey y'all, I am stopping for gas and then I'll be continuing my drive to work. I'm excited because today I'm gonna leave work a little bit early and go uh, to where Hubs is because the ball is tomorrow. Um, by now you should have seen and know what dress I'm gonna be wearing and stuff. So I'm really excited, everything is done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go into work. I'm gonna get some content for the week because I won't be there uh, Saturday, Sunday. We'll be off Monday and Tuesday, so I'll be back Wednesday. So I need content and stuff to show and share on social, and I should also get a newsletter up and out. So um, today while I'm at the office, I'll work on that stuff before I leave for the week. So I'm gonna finish up getting gas here and be on my way to work. Hey friends, so I'm down here in the Creative Center, and I just posted my video sharing with you all the dress that I'm gonna, uh, the pattern of fabric that I chose for the Marine Corps birthday ball, my dress, and I saw Miss Alethea comment, and then Faith agreed. <laughs> so, I am gonna open up the seam um, and put the split because y'all know I closed it. I, I, wanted, I told Faith I wanted to wear <laughs> ankle length spanks. <laughs> she thought against it. <laughs> So I'm going to unpick the front, uh, open the hem up, I'm sorry, open the split up, and yeah, then I'll be done with the dress. Okay, y'all, I took the split out. I put it back up to the opening from where the pattern has it. And let's see, here's the split here. It's open, I tried it on. You all are right, it looks good. Thank you, Miss Alethea. I also, hold on, I'm gonna shout out everyone, including Faith, <laughs> that suggested that I take it out. Hold up, let me find the video. Just a second. Okay, let's see. Okay, Miss Alethea, thank you. And Helen. Thank you. So as of, and I'm sure others may comment, but it's just 12.08. You all have commented um, first with the leave the split, <laughs> just lower it. So I'm actually just gonna leave it for the length that the pattern has. I tried it on again, it looks really good, so.
right y'all so i'm about to get ready to head out for the day it is 2 50 and again i'm leaving work and i'm going to where hubs is because the ball is tomorrow hubs actually had a conference down in new orleans so he's driving back up right now and so we're trying to time it so that we meet up at the same time um but i'm gonna stop a couple places though since i opened up the front split in my dress I realized oh I really don't love the shoes <laughs> which is nothing wrong with it um there's just some black uh little sandals which is fine because my little clutch has black in it but if I'm gonna be showing the split then I would rather have you know a better shoe and I didn't buy any because one I was closing the split and two I have a lot of shiny sparkly shoes in storage I really didn't want to buy another pair but now that the split is open and it does look nice open. I think I'm going to um, stop by a mall on my way to see Hubs and see if I can find a nice pair of shoe at Macy's uh, at Macy's or something. So we'll see. Um, so I'm about to head out and do that now. And then I'm going to stop by the house because that's actually on my way there. So I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, I'll bring y'all along. I'm about to head out now. Okay, y'all, I didn't get those shoes in Macy's, but I came down to Dillard's and they have some, they have some other options that I think will work that has gold in it. So let me see, hopefully they have my size and a couple of them. ball shoes secured now I'm leaving <laughs> look how awesome it looks hey y'all so I am here at the house <laughs> so there is a window delay there's a window delay with all the homes out here the ones that I've shown you all in the two previous vlogs are still just sitting there with no uh, windows and the agent that we've been working with the sales associate she told us that one guy is about to just be done with it and do a resale because he's been waiting like two months for windows oh gosh i probably don't have to wait that long <laughs> um so his house is still sitting the one next to us is still sitting they're making progress with the neighbor's house right over there um and it's four more houses across the street let me turn y'all see that that house right there still sitting waiting so all the homes and then there are other there are other houses that I passed by still waiting. So I mean it just is what it is, but let's do a walkthrough. So I've already showed you all what it looks like um, in the model home, and I told you all that our house is very similar to the model home. So here is a half bath right here. That's gonna be right off the front door. Then you have like a little entry area here. The stairs are right here. Um beside that is where we have like a living sitting area you know couch chairs some stuff like that this right here is going to be my sewing space and we're just going to put some sliders here remember i told you all that in the model home video and i'll put a slider here hubs will put those up for me so this will be where i sew and i really want to decorate this space here in the front so that i can still kind of use it you know, to sit and work and create other content and things like that. So that's there. From this door off of my sewing space, this is the kitchen. So this is where we'll put like a little sitting table, which I really just want a four chair table because we'll have an island here, which two, tapes, two chairs can sit here. And Hubs and I just sit on the couch and eat anyway. So yeah, uh, I think a four, ch uh, four chair table will be, will be perfect here. Right here would be the pantry. 
And then this would be the kitchen with the cabinets, the stove, refrigerator, all that stuff. The dish, dishwasher, sink here, fireplace, uh, three windows, <laughs> the back door. They still have not fixed this just yet, but the, uh, the builder said that he is tracking it. That the cement company will come back and re-pour, and if it doesn't look right, then they're just gonna bust it all up and pour again. Um, this right here, family room. We'll have the TV over the fireplace. Garage right here. This is a, like a hall closet. Um, and then the stairs. which I am just obsessed with, y'all. Look at the loft space. The children are going to love this space over here. So I told you that we were gonna open that up. So we'll have a TV over here for the children, a little couch for them. Um, we may even be able to put like a desk or something for them to do, you know, have books or stuff. So this would be that area. Then we have the washroom here, um, towel and closet there, master bedroom here, double sinks, shower, tub. I asked her, so does this mean that the plumbing works? She said that this has to sit here until after it's inspected to make sure that nothing is leaking. So that's there, here is the closet in here. And again, you all can watch the model home tour. Um, the only difference in that video, or the only difference with the model home and ours is the loft space. And I believe that's it. <laughs> Here's another bedroom here. Or the first bedroom, second bedroom, hall bath, and the front bedroom. I'm so excited, y'all. It is happening. Um, yeah, Hubs and I cannot wait to get our family here into our first home. We'll be first time homeowners. Um, and we are getting just what we want and a first home for our family. So yeah, we're so excited. So excited. <laughs> ah. Okay, now that I've seen the house, I'm gonna get some pics for Hubs. Um, and then I'm going to grab something to eat and get back on the road. So, see y'all later.